Hey, Robert. So as the draft is obviously upcoming, it, it was you last year. Can you just kind of take us through, you know, that day for you and what it feels like now, that now having a year under your belt? Uh, that probably was one of the best days of my life. Uh, that was life life changing event. Uh, definitely something that I'll never forget. And joining with my family and friends and just being able to be in that situation was a blessing. And now just looking back at it, it was like, just being thankful for everything that I've been through leading up to that point and everything that's going to happen after. Just thankful for it all, really. How does it feel to be back in the building this week? Oh, it feels great to be back around the guys and us getting some work together and, you know what I'm saying, us clicking and, you know, just working towards one common goal. Lastly, for me, what do you sort of work on? You didn't have a lot of in between time between Super Bowl and now, but what have you worked on just to kind of up your game a little bit? Uh, just taking care of my body, uh, getting into a sequence and working with people who, you know, got the same intentions for me, uh, just making sure my body and everything that's dealing with myself is in line and ready to go. Thank you. Great. Hey, Robert, good to see you, man. We haven't seen you much since Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> can you tell us how the how the injury went down and what it was and, and how you felt and, and how close you were to maybe getting mm -hmm. back at the later point of the year? Uh, so so we played the Jag the Jaguars on December 5th, and uh, I was covering a punt. A guy came and hit me while I was looking at the ball. Um, broke my rib, my first rib, by my collarbone. And to say that injury right there was one of the crazy injuries I ever, like, went through because it's so rare. No treatment, just pain. Uh, so there was a lot of mental stuff went into it. It was just me and handling the pain day by day and working with the training staff to make myself feel better mentally and physically. And throughout the years, me working with them, and as it got close to the Super Bowl last year, I had opportunity to play because my body had healed so fast and recovered so fast thanks to those guys. And I was presented the opportunity to be able to play. So my recovery went fine, uh, check up and everything's fine. So just thank God about that. So you are 100% now, you feeling good and everything, no, no limitations? Yes, sir. Cool. Thanks, man. Still. Hey, Robert, when you reflect on, on your rookie year, um, what, what kind of stands out to you? What do you feel like you learned? And how is that shaping your approach as you head into the offseason program and preparing for the upcoming season? I really just learned how to be a pro, more, more ways to be a pro, more ways to be situational based, uh, understand things differently, uh, just feeling different from college to the NFL, uh, the guys, the speed, uh, the expectations, the level, level of play. Uh, just understanding the game as a total. And it's really all that I just kind of look back on and try to constantly reflect on and get better at. And then was there anybody, whether it was a teammate in the, even in the DB room or even the defense around the team as a whole, who um, was really instrumental in your growth and development, who you felt like really helped you a lot last year? Every one of those guys. Every one of those guys kept me up, kept me strong, because they know I was coming in just trying to fill a role. And every one of those guys that I was on the back end with kept me strong. My brothers, uh, we got great bonds with all those guys, and those all those guys pour into me. Every teammate that I have pour into me, pour back into them, and we just keep going as we as we fight for one thing. Thank you, Kurt. Hey, Robert. Great to see you, man. Um, I'm curious. Winning a Super Bowl less than a year after you were drafted, if any of the veterans kind of said, this is not normal. And, and how do you make sure you respect and appreciate that moving forward? Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of guys definitely told me that it's not normal winning your rookie year. And just hearing that just make it be more of a, of a big thing, something that you don't tr take lightly. Uh, just thankful for the team that I was on and the guys who work hard day in and day out and, you know what I'm saying, just sacrifice their self and their bodies and, you know what I'm saying, for all of us to get to one spot and just win the Super Bowl was just – it's just crazy still to this day to think about, but it was a blessing, man. It was just crazy. And kind of picking up uh, what Stu was talking about as you reflect, as you move forward, how different are you? Are you more different as a man or are you more different as a player a year removed from being drafted? More different as a man, uh, but I'm more different as a player too, so both. But I'm more different as a man just understanding everything around the game of football at this point. Uh, just understand what it takes, uh, understanding what it takes outside of this, 
outside of being just at the facility or working with the people here. Uh, so just understand everything as a whole, connecting it to your life outside of here. Uh, then just as a player, just knowing that I got to be looking out for the guy next to me and I can't, I got to be selfish on this field and just knowing that I got to be situational based and situational prepared. Because again, it come down to situations. So just being ready. Thank you. Hey, Robert, nice to see you. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Um, so I know you guys are all really close in the DB's room and, and you all lift each other up a lot, but, um, what is that kind of like now balancing that great relationship while also knowing that you very much are in competition for one of those outside sort of starting spots this year? And, and where are you at technically and physically for that? Uh, I really, on the competition standpoint, uh, I really don't look at it as competition because, you know, we teammates and, you know, one guy gonna get a chance and the other guy just gotta stay ready. You know, expectation level doesn't change. So going in week in and week out is just all about work. We working together still, we training together, we grinding together, we lift weights together, we do everything together. So competition is just wanting to win. So we all gotta come and go to winning and ain't no problem with who's up to win. You know what I'm saying? So it's all. And then um, this is kind of a random question, but um, the Rams, uh, place a lot of emphasis, particularly in those fourth, fifth, and sixth round picks in sort of the test, testing and evaluating, studying a person's emotional intelligence when they're young and how that tells them who that person will be. And, and I know you had to lean on that last year when you're going through that injury. So I'm kind of wondering what you remember from that time when they're doing some of that studying of you, what your conversations were like, and, and what sort of tools you felt they used to show them who you are and who you will be? Uh, they really just wanted me to do like a lot of reflecting, uh, a lot of things that I went through, uh, a lot of adversity that I've overcame, um, <clears throat> just showing resilience, talk about resilience a lot and, you know, consistency. So just being being a guy that could be adaptable and available, just type of guy you have to be. And then mentally it's just a whole different battle because you have to always be in tune with what's going on. So a lot of stuff going on outside of, you know, other areas, you just can't you stay locked in until the task at hand when it's time and time for you to show up and play. Thank you very much for your insight. I appreciate it. No problem. Kevin. Uh, hi, Robert. Um, yeah, good. Thank you. Um, it, it, some rookies come in and, and start right away, get a lot of snaps. Some kind of learn in practice by watching, by listening. You had a combination of the two experiences last season. Oh. In, in what way did you do most of your learning? Was it, you know, by, by watching and listening or, or was it when you were thrown in and, uh, you know, suddenly were the guy? Uh, it was definitely when I was thrown in. Uh, you know, it's nothing like actually being out there. You know, we watch, we've been watching football and all that our, our whole lives. It's nothing compared to when you're actually out there in on the field, in the situation. So I definitely learned more from being out there. I can reflect on those experiences, situations, remembering, remembering what I did wrong, what I did right, and just building off of that. That's, that's all. And, and is that because when you're in a game, you know, something goes wrong, it really – kind of hits you hard and you have to deal with it and learn from it more yeah. than when something, good happen, when something good happen, you have to deal with it and learn with it. Not you to let, can't let it make you grow outside of yourself. You got to stay within yourself uh, on both sides where you are doing bad and good. So just having both of those spectrums throughout the year and being down and hurt, being able to still support guys from home and staying locked into meetings and watching uh, both of them helped me out tremendously. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Wrap up with you, Gary. Hi, Robert. Um, good. Um, anything in particular? I know you uh, mentioned you learned uh, a lot from everyone uh, in the room, uh, in the DB room, but I'm just curious if anything Darius Williams um, passed on to you, uh, you know, that, that has stuck with you that kind of you'll carry forward. Uh, this is just situational football. Uh, football always come down to situations. Probably the biggest thing that stuck with me, just to not overthink everything. Uh, just play the situation always and make easy downs. We got there from my DB coach Cooley, just making everything an easy down, make it as e easy as possible for you to understand the situations and what's going on in the game. And then I think, you know, if I remember correctly, you spoke last year, especially after being drafted about, you know, you had a lot to learn coming from um, 
the college you did and acclimating to be in the NFL. And then shortly into your career, you're st- you were starting. I, I know you've had some time to reflect on that, but can you take us back to what that was like when all of a sudden, you know, you're you're going into the starting lineup? I think it might have been Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> oh man, when that happened, it was uh, it was one of those moments where I had to say that it like it was just, like it's here. Uh, everything that I've been preparing for, and they've been preparing me for, it and talking about, and being ready for it. it. And when it presented itself, I just had to be there. You know what I'm saying? In that moment, uh, ready. And just reflecting on those moments, those great moments, good and bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just experiences, life about experiences. I'm glad I experienced all of it. 